look into the eye of a killer mouse. Oh, shoot. That's a chipmunk. Once this went on sale at my local Princess Auto for about $14, I thought, this is great. I'm going to give this a try. It says you don't have to use bait. It's made of galvanized steel, so it can last for a long, long time. It'll catch many mice, and it'll be safe for children and pets. No snap trap hurting their fingers. It also tells you how to set it, and it tells you what the mice will do right. And, of course, how to open the trap. So on this side of the trap is the winding wheel, that little black thing there, and there's that hole where the mice go in. On this side is where the receptacle is, where the mice are collected. And you can see that nice little hole where the mice are supposed to just want to jump right in. And this is just the back, which is plain. The top has a nice viewing window that you can see if you've caught any mice. And I'm guessing the handle on the top is just for carrying. The lid slides off quite easily to, I guess, to release the mice. So the mice are pushed over to this left side here. Nothing goes on that right side, it's just the internal mechanisms on that right side. Now I forgot to mention that you actually turn that black knob about six to seven times to set that trap. And it's really just, it just loads up the spring internally and allows the mechanisms to work. So we'll quickly just slide this open just to show you the mechanism at work. I'm just going to put my finger in here and show you. I'm going to hit that black little paddle. It's a very light touch that's required, I'm guessing, for the weight of the mouse to step on it. Basically, a paddle wheel turns and scoops that mouse into the collecting receptacle. And that's pretty much it. It says you don't have to bait it, but what I am going to do is I'm just going to put a little bait in the collecting receptacle just so that the mice will even want to enter. I'm basically putting it where I know that the mice come out of, and that's right by this old drain pipe. Now the one problem setting this trap outside is, as you know from other mouse trap videos that you've seen on my channel, these raccoons just destroy some of my traps, and this was no exception. The raccoon broke the black little turning handle on the outside, which uh, ended uh, ruining this trap. I had to fix it with a little bit of wire, and once I fixed it, it was up and running again. It took about a week before I found anything in the trap, and the very first thing I found was this little chipmunk. Oh, so cute. And I was pretty impressed that it actually trapped this chipmunk. It fit in there, and it scooped it right in. The chipmunk could not find its way out, and if it's strong enough for a chipmunk, it'll definitely work for a mouse. However, the problem was, was finding a mouse that would go in this trap. Now, I've had this trap for years, and it was out there the same time that this uh, automatic trap was out there. And in that time it was out there for about four weeks, it caught six mice. And as you'll see, this automatic trap has so far amounted to one. So even with baiting, the mice just don't want to jump through this particular hole in the trap. Obviously I did catch a chipmunk as well, so it did catch something else. But as a whole, I would not say this is a mouse trap that I would recommend. But because this is a live trap, I do release it out in a nearby forest so it can be on its way and live a happy life. I hope. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Ladybug adventure.